I've seen a lot of games, and I have a feeling this one is going to be special. And we are down to the final four of the NFL's greatest team season. The best two out of the 70s, the 78 Steelers, led by Bradshaw and Greasy's 72 Dolphins. We pick things up in the second quarter. Bradshaw, who threw for nearly 200 yards on the day, finds Harris for one of his two touchdowns. And Pittsburgh led it for the first time right here in a battle of two great defenses. Shell provided the highlight of the first half. Here, the interception of Greasy right in front of an open war field. And five plays later, Bradshaw caps it off with a Cunningham touchdown. 14-3 at the half, 17-6 late in the third quarter. Bradshaw will strike again. One of the five completions to Swan is a good one. 97 yards for Swan on the day. But Bradshaw in the red zone was not very efficient in the second half. Nearly picked off by Mumford. And they would have to settle for another short field goal. Greasy and the Dolphins have a glimmer of hope in the fourth quarter. And he knew that going deep to Stowe makes a big play here. And then his favorite target of the day, Howard Twilley, makes another play. And this excellent drive where Greasy was on fire was capped off by his fullback, Jim Kick. The two-pointer was no good, but this touchdown trimmed the lead to one possession. Pittsburgh could still win it with a few first downs, and they get the first right here with backup Rocky Flyer. They need one more at this spot, a third and seven, but Bradshaw throws a weird pass that was right out of a lunging defender and out of bounds anyways, giving the Dolphins one last chance. Miami was down for most of the game here, but Jake Scott gives them a sign of life with a 24-yard punt return, setting up the Dolphins 51 yards away from the end zone. Twilly with an excellent catch. He went over 130 yards on the day. This one to Morris, but a massive hold on Mar Fleming hurts their chances. Another hold later in the drive and back them up to a second and 25. It's third and 16 here, but Mandich makes the play to lift the Dolphins into a spot for a red zone chance, needing a touchdown and a two-pointer. But Greasy was sacked on a third down, and then Greasy yet again hit to lose the game right here. It's so frustrating, his own teammate Wayne Moore punches Greasy in the face. The 1978 Steelers, Dream Bowl bound yet again by the final score out of Miami, 20-12. to An incredible performance for the veteran out of Tulsa, receiver Howard Twilley in the Dolphins' loss. The 89 Niners were expected to be in the NFC Championship game. The 15 Panthers were not. The Cinderella team of the season with one more upset needed to make it to the Dream Bowl. First play of the game is a good one from Montana to Jones of 29 yards, and the Niners would cap off this 89-yard drive with the Wesley Walls touchdown. And then Carolina would combine the early struggles with a three and out on offense, and San Francisco would march right downfield again, capped by Roger Craig, seven-yard touchdown run. It was 14-0 in the blink of an eye, and the Panthers would go three and out again. This one a perplexing decision from Newton, and Montana, who was red hot the entire first half, finds Rice on a jump ball to convert third and 13, and then third down yet again, Montana delivers, this time with a Mike Wilson touchdown catch. 21-0 at the half. Newton, who was picked off by Ronnie Lott to close the first half, had a chance to redeem himself in the third quarter, and he was terrific on this promising drive. A couple of first downs to Greg Olson sets him up near the red zone, and on third and two, the former NFL MVP would deliver an end zone shot that's knocked away by Rooks. They'd have to settle for a field goal. It's 21-3. San Francisco tacked on another few field goals, and then Newton was picked off by Ronnie Lott to end the game. And the 1989 49ers joined the 1978 Steelers in the Dream Bowl of the NFL's greatest team season. We'll have more on this later in the week.